Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in the series of information theory and coding. In this tutorial, we'll talk about an encoding scheme which is um, not very popular but has its own importance and the name of that encoding scheme is 4B, 5B encoding. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the definition and usage, the advantages of this encoding scheme. We'll, we'll see uh, the input output truth table and we'll uh, do a numerical based on this encoding scheme. Now this encoding scheme takes a 4-bit input and generates a 5-bit output. So with 4 bits of input we could have 16 possible combinations that I've written here. And for each of the possible input value at the encoder, the output is uniquely defined as in the table. Now this table is taken uh, from Wikipedia. I uh, do not know the rationale behind generation of the output of the uh, encoder, but <clears throat> the fact of the matter is for a 4-bit input, for example, 0000, uh, this code is encoded into a 5-bit output code, which is 11110. Now, the reason why we do that is pretty simple. Now, if you look at the output set, which is a 5-bit code, you'll never find three zeros in a row. Now, the main objective of encoding is to avoid long strings of zeros as we mentioned in HDB3 code and um, other codes where timing extraction becomes a problem. So a long string of zeros could result in misinterpretation of a zero DC voltage at the receiver. So that is avoided here. <clears throat> now, if you look further closely, the last two strings are at most zero zero. So I have a zero zero here and a zero zero here only. And the first string is at most one zero. So even if you combine two input codes then you'll never get uh, a string of zeros greater than three i'll show you that with an example the basic definition of a 4b 5b encoding would be to encode a 4-bit input into a 5-bit output which eliminates um, the long strings of zeros some of them which are appearing in the 4-bit input code. And of course, the timing extraction becomes easier and error detection also becomes easier because the 5-bit output code has 32 <coughs> possible outcomes and out of those 32 possible outcomes, only 16 are being used. So if you uh, are given a question like this, find the output of 4B, 5B encoder, if the input string is this, then how do we go about solving this question. In order to solve this question, you'll need to have this reference table with you. Either you can commit it to your memory or you could draw it beforehand before encoding any string. So once you do that, uh, you need to divide this string into sets of four bits. So that is how you divide it then the rest of the calculation becomes easier because for these four bit inputs you simply need to copy the five bit output from the table for example a 0010 will result in a 10100 at the output 1010 will result in 10110 1101 will result in one one zero one one 
and so on. So you keep on uh, substituting the value of these four bit inputs from this table and the output is written here and 1111 is 11101 so this becomes the output encoded stream so that is how 4b 5b encoding works now um, I was talking about um, combination of two uh, codes for example these two codes when they are combined at the output uh, you'll never get a, a string of more than three zeros in a row because we have seen that at the last two bits uh, can be zero zero and the first bit can be zero at the most so we can have a continuity of three zeros at the most in the output which is pretty manageable so timing extraction becomes easier that's the reason 4b 5b encoding scheme was invented and i hope this quick tutorial on 4b 5b encoding was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye